Hello and welcome to another Photoshop tutorial. In this video I want to show you a way how you can make mountain landscapes a little more impactful. This method will change the landscape quite dramatically. If you'd like to keep your images close to reality, this technique might not be for you. Also, this doesn't work in Lightroom as far as I know, so I'm just using Photoshop to do this. Alright, that's the mountain scene I want to change. First off, let me duplicate that layer by pressing Ctrl J, just so I can show you the before and after results. What I want to do here is to make the mountain bigger. And I'm not talking about just scaling everything up, since that will just look the same after all. I want to bring more attention to the vertical scale of this mountain. And that's actually pretty easy. Let's start with the first way. I could simply hit Ctrl T or alternatively go to Edit, Transform and Scale. And now simply scale the vertical size of this image. For that we can either use that point at the top or this point at the bottom. For this image we could save some of the sky and just drag down the foreground like that. Since the foreground isn't that interesting. But also let's take the upper point and drag it to the top a little. And then just hit OK. Now you can see we have stretched all those vertical lines somewhere and thus made the mountain a little bigger. Now let's compare it to before. You can clearly see we still have a sharp image, but the new mountain landscape now just feels way more powerful. Alright, this was one way to achieve this effect. Of course, there are many many more and I want to show you two other ways on how to achieve that. So let's again duplicate the original image, let's drag it to the top and again I'm hitting Ctrl T to bring up the transformation box right there and instead of scaling I want to choose something different so I'm just right clicking in the image and from this menu I'm choosing the warp setting. But with the warp setting we can just place the cursor and by left clicking and dragging we can change the image how we like it. Now take a look at the mountain peak. It's changing quite dramatically while the foreground almost doesn't change at all. So we have made this peak bigger but the problem with this method especially with the cloudy sky you can see right here they start to look a little weird since there's now a curve in the sky. However that can be fixed as well by just dragging up this point and of course we can do the same thing on the other side. Okay. And again you can see we are just stretching those vertical lines. Now of course if you want you can also adjust the foreground again by clicking in the bottom part and just dragging it down. Now if you have any straight lines in the image, let's say from buildings or something, you have to be really really careful with this method. But it's a lot of fun and it will get you great results if you play around with it for a little bit. The mod's done, again just hit OK. Again let's check the before and after. You can see the image did get quite distorted by this, but a regular viewer of this photo won't notice this since it still looks natural, but it's just way more impactful. Alright, then let's check out the third method. Again I'm duplicating the original image, let's place it at the top. And for this I'm going to edit and apply the perspective warp. Now once you hit that button, you're in the layout mode. That means you can create a grid by creating those rectangles. I want to have the highest peak covered right here, just like that. I'm also making sure that the whole grid is connected so those points are snapping together. Otherwise there might be some errors later. Alright, here we have the first column, let's continue with the sky. And this way we just fill the whole image with a grid and always make sure that those points are connected to each other. And then let's create a grid for the foreground. 
Once I have created our grid, we can simply switch from layout to warp. You can see the grid has changed. And now let's just drag up those points. And again, just make those vertical lines a little steeper. Again, watch for the sky to not apply too much of a distortion to those clouds. Of course, you can make this mountain bigger by dragging down those points as well. Just like that. And once you're happy with the result, again, just hit OK. In the end, we just made those vertical lines a lot longer. And this way, the mountain takes up more of the image and just creates a more impactful mountain landscape. So that's it for this Photoshop tutorial. I hope this was interesting and helpful. If you have any questions about it, let me know in the comments and thank you so much for watching this video.